the seeding has done the job. It's the best two pairings in the competition. The top two seeds who have made it through to the final. From Bulgaria, Gabriela Stoeva and Stefani Stoeva. Obviously sisters. 19 and 20 years old. Gabriela slightly older, slightly shorter. They are from Bulgaria in the red tops. As you can see quite a serious uh, knee wrapping there. On Stefani. That's the, those are the results getting through. As you can see, they have not dropped a single game. And a hugely impressive semi final victory of Yigit and Bariak, who were very, very good indeed uh, from Turkey. Well, that was a 2 0, 21 14, and 21 9 in the end, and they broke the Turks. It was uh, quite an effortless performance from the number one seed. The Russian pairing, Ekaterina. Poloteva and Evgenia Kosatskaya, the world ranked number 22 players, 22 years old and 20 years old, these two. There you see those results. Again, two nils all the way down except for the semi final where they faced the world number 58 pairing of Gribak and Helpsol. And basically, the, the Danish pair, any pairing from Denmark, are going to be very, very tough indeed. David Graf von Schwerin from Austria is our match umpire. Our chair umpire I should say. Keeping an eye on the serves. Doesn't get any glory actually usually uh, but it's uh, Ivanka Bocconi. So Stefani these are the world ranked number 15 pairing and 19 years old is Stefani, 20 years old is Gabriella. And in fact, both these pairings have really risen up the world rankings very, very quickly indeed. And I think we're going to see them going further up those rankings. They're both at their career high rankings. Both of them seem to be concentrating more on their women's doubles at the moment. Although, uh, Evgenia Kosatskaya does play women's singles and uh, currently ranked at 77 in the world, so she's not bad to be in the top 100, and she's also ranked 35 in the mixed doubles. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Gabriela Stoiva and Stefani Stoiva, Bulgaria. And on my left, Yekaterina Kolotova, Evgenia Kozetskaya, Russian Federation. <laughs> Gabriela Stoiva to serve, the Evgenia Kozetskaya, the ball, play. The gold medal match here at Baku 2015 is underway. not a bad rally to start with, is it? Maybe admittedly, both pairs not really trying out their killer shots, their decisive shots, but still a good start. And then a service error from Bolotova. Another from Bolotova. She puts that one into the net. And there's a bit of support here from the Bulgarians, as you can see. I think there's quite a few uh, athletes who've come over. This is a big match in Bulgaria, and there's quite a few athletes who've come from other sports to support the number one seeds here. 
lovely defence there. Gabriello kept her team in it. And a big cheer there for Katarina Boloteva. Boloteva, five foot eight. Kozatskaya, who's at the back of the court there, you see. With a blonder hair, she's five foot ten. Stefani Stover with the leg brace, five foot eight. Service fault called there. The service was too high. That arm across means that the shuttle has to be below waist height, which uh, I was looking just for the exact definition, man. It's below the lowest rib of a player, managing a line. Oh, that's a lovely hit from Stephanie Stover there. And the Bulgarians starting to open up here. Gabriella, in fact, sorry, this was Gabriella. Look at that, a beautiful cross court. The Russians weren't able to react there. Well, this is a tight opening. Looking through the results, the Russian pairing. The closest game they've had, considering they've had 12 games, they've won them all, they've had six matches, 12 games, won them all 2 0. The closest one was 21 16 in their very first match. And uh, the second closest, 21 14. They have won all their games by a good margin. And it's that sort of play, I can imagine, that's done it. They're just constant attack. They may have just used that first rally to warm up a little bit. They're certainly warm now, and both of them have got good, powerful smashers. <laughs> and the ball gave in support. Six, three. The Stuevas have won their last two tournaments. Orléans in France and the Spanish. Open, which were in Mar March and May this year. So they're looking for three tournament victories in a row on the world scene. Well, that's a significant rally. Russia may have won that rally, but from a badminton point of view and from the Bulgarian coaches, it was clear that the Russians could not smash the shuttle through their opponents. And the Stoevas were defending it with ease. And change of racket, but that's quite significant there. And that will give the Stoevas sisters a real little bit of extra confidence there. So the Russians could well have put that away earlier. Oh, just outside the line. Very close. Gabriela Stoeva, who's the one who doesn't have the, the leg brace. She's only ever played with her sister in women's doubles. Oh, what a great response there. What a beautiful response from the Russian, from Kosetskaya. The Bulgarians are in party mood here. They've come expecting a gold. Gary still won the point. Russia looking to hang on here. And we see again the smash and Gary comfortable. But a snatch on that one and point to Russia. So uh, the Stoevas have only uh, ever played together in women's doubles. Let's have a look at Gabriela Stoeva, who's um, got a good ranking in mixed doubles. She's actually played with 10 different mixed doubles partners so far in her career. Considering she's only 20, that's some going. I oh, miss it from the back there. Of course, I was talking about world badminton. I don't know what's happened locally in Bulgaria and Russia. Again, the smash from the back of the court. Now, that was interesting. Kosetskaya realizing that she's not causing the Bulgarians any trouble with her smashers. And going for the drop shot there. And that may be a, an interesting sign of things to come later. And there she goes wide on the smash. 
and well she puts her hand across her face and a little bit of embarrassment there but that really was all about a point that was four or five points ago and the Russians weren't able to to win the point with their smashers here she goes again the Bulgarians are happy to put the shuttle up in the air this time they win the point but interestingly Stefani stay over there put the shuttle up in the air from the serve and said you just keep smashing Russia do eventually get the point but an error there from Boloteva who turns to look at her partner for a bit of encouragement Kosetskaya was looking away Kosetskaya was very happy with that at all a definite atmosphere towards Bulgaria here tonight is a lovely atmosphere we've had 30 matches so far in the women's doubles competition this is the final match match number 31 and it is good start well, the coaches certainly trying to get the message across on head to heads they've played each other twice of course they're both all all four players are quite young We've got a 19 year old two 20 year olds on a 22 year old on court so they played each other twice last year the white knights 2014 it was the russians that won 21 15 22 20 but in uh, the yonix dutch open which was also last year when they played uh, on the scoring system first to 11 Stoevers won three games to two Cossack Skyer is her arm must be hurting a little bit she's hit after hit I think this is a tactic here from Bulgarians they've decided they want Cossack Skyer and there's a shot now that's a significant little move Cossack Skyer comes into the front of the net for the drop there she goes she smashes she smashed again she moves in she re and look at that for reflexes from 20 year old Kosatskaya. Certainly a tactic we're seeing here from the Bulgarians. They've decided they're, they're going to try and almost blow Kosatskaya out. They don't think she's got the ammunition at the back of the court. Good defense from Russia there. Boloteva did well. Oh, a mis miscommunication, and Russia are lucky. <laughs> There's a challenge. Well, in volleyball, this is called the husband and wife shot. When the ball goes down the middle, usually two players are looking at each other, saying, no, it's yours, and there's a, usually a fair bit of bickering in shoes. Well, they're not having a little bicker, but they certainly were definitely not on the same wavelength there. And it is out, and it did look out on the TV replay. But that's a little bit of fortune there for the Russians. You could say it was a brilliant let, brilliant leave. Russia just edging back then up into this game. But an error off a racket of Politova. Remember, it was 11 6 earlier, so just a couple of points from Russia back in but now story of the sisters that could have been out but they played it and Stefani Stover will be happy there because I think she was slightly in two minds but in the end played it and another mistake from Bolotova here trying to take something off that smash and just pop it over the net but very hard shot to play to great accuracy and you've got World number 11's on the other side of your net, but there was a mistake on the turn of serve from Gabriela Stray over there. The Cossack Sky was all over that one.
Interesting move again from Musher. Oh, lovely rally. Great accuracy on all these shots here. There's a chance, mistake from Bolotova. And Gabriela Streva is right on top of that one. Really good quality rally here. And a good lead from Stefani Stover. Well, Tova just seems to have a couple of individual errors to her name in this match. But that's a good smash from Kozatskaya. And it's too much for Stefani Stover. 10, 15. Russia hanging on in there. But five points at this stage in the game is quite significant. Russia needs to try and get a few points up. And another service fault call. Same as before. Shuttle considered above the waist. Too high. Wait. Bolotova just going to the chair umpire just to confirm that it was the height. It wasn't that the fact that the racket was pointing upwards. The racket needs to be, the head needs to be just facing down, even though fractionally, for the serve to be valid. Oh my goodness, what a reflex from Gabriela Strava. She probably didn't know a lot about it. She just gives that look to sort of say, well, I'll take that one. The ha racket was there. There was a little bit of direction, but absolutely on the line, unplayable. And Gabriela Strava stalling to step it up a little bit here. That was a beautiful shot at the front of the net. Cossack Sky just couldn't reach. Alarm bells ringing for Russia. Bolotova, I've got noted here, that's probably her seventh unforced error. Maybe I'm being a little bit cruel, but certainly five or six, but she needs to try and cut those errors out. If we move into the second game. We'll go, we have three points away from the first game. Oh, and that will do Bolotova's confidence. A whole deal of good there. She rallied hard with Gabriela Stoeva. She's certainly the one that is hanging around the front of the net as often as possible. She's the reflex girl. But she need a run of points here now quickly. Oh. And ever from Bolotova, and Gabriela Stoeva is at the net waiting for that shot. It's almost as if she knew this was coming there. Look at the racket was up. She almost knew that that was going to be a loose shot. I think Bolotova caught in two minds there, whether to go long or short, and in the end she did neither. Cossett Skyer goes wide. Looks up at the scoreboard, 20, and she doesn't look, point, doesn't really like what she sees there, because we have eight game points for Bulgaria in this first game. Oh, Gabriela Streva is on fire at the moment. She is all over that net, and any, that was almost a half loose shot. That was looking quite tight, but she was there with her racket over the net. And, well, we get a good view of this. Watch her movement here. There's a blonde girl on the left with the knee strap. and She's at the net very quickly. And look at that. Look how quick she was onto that. What a start for Bulgaria. And the number one seeds living up to that seeding here at the Baku Sports Hall. They've got half a grip on that gold medal. 
what are Russia going to do about it now? Boloteva, Kozetskaya. They have a game to live down now. Stoeva's lead, 21-12. That first game, 15 minutes long. If you were a Bulgarian coach, speaking English there, interestingly enough. You saw the body language, hands on his hips. It's the Russians who certainly have to try and change something. That was quite a relaxed uh, between game little session there, wasn't it, with the Bulgarian? The Bulgarians, they were hands on hips, smiling away. He was certainly very pleased with Gabriela Streva because she certainly was the star performer at the front of the net. She was absolutely on everything that came back. And a service fault to start with from Gabriela. That was called but the waste as well. And the officials, we had quite a few yesterday in the men's double semi finals. The officials have been extra tight. Here's a chance for Russia to finish off. And they do, Boloteva, they've certainly had a much more fierce talk with their coach. Boloteva certainly has to try and cut the others out. She's just made far too many so far. And there's the rat -a tat at the front of the net with Gabriela Stoeva at the moment. Stoeva has Boloteva in her pocket. Loose shot from Boloteva there. And Stoeva is uh, dominating that head-to-head -head at the front. Russia on top here. But, well, similar to what we saw in the first game, Gabriela Stoeva a bit frustrated. And even when the Russians have a great chance and they're smashing away, <laughs> they're still not able to break through the Bulgarians. But they lead 3-1. Well, that was a good cross-court from Boloteva. And interesting, the Russians seem to have slightly changed their tactics in this game. We're seeing, one. seeing them a little bit more side and side, whereas before it was certainly Kosetskaya, the taller athlete, five foot ten, who was at the back. We certainly s seemed to have seen, certainly it was in that last rally, a little bit of a change around. The Russians have been much happier with the way this game started because they've dominated that rally. And Kozatskaya puts a cross court in. What a start this is for Russia. Just what they needed. Five, one. I don't think there's many times in this tournament that the Bulgarians have been four points behind. Kozatskaya firing hard again. Oh, and Boloteva just tries the drop shot when it probably wasn't on there. The pressure was on for her to try and play the killer shot that would win the point. But she didn't look set for it at all. And in the end, it went halfway up the net. It wasn't even close. Oh, what a shot there from Stephanie Stoeva. Bolotova was all over that serve, was on it like a shot. What great reflexes from Stefani. Went corner to corner. This guy never saw it. Guys. 
Oh, big hit. The final two over. Big clench of the fist there with her sister. And a significant point as well because that was a pure smash through Olatava's defence. Good response here from the Bulgarians. Three points in a row. where the Bulgarians are at home. Stefani at the back, smashing. Gabriella's ready to... Oh, she's gone wide there. Stefani puts her head up in the air. They can have a little giggle between themselves. They worked that point so well. And Gabriella can't believe that from such a powerful position on top of the net. And here you go. This is, this is where the Bulgarians are at home. Lovely defence from Bolotova. Russia 6-4 ahead. What a shot. Stefani still over at the back of the court. She really does put that little drop shot in. Very rarely indeed, but when she does, it is superb. Just out. Is over. Seven, five. This is a good game, really good game. The Russians have stepped it up. Yeah. Oh, Stefani misreads that one. Nice. And Bolotova puts it away, and the Bulgarians were in trouble from the first serve. Stefani moved Eight. forward. We won't see a replay of it, but she, she came forward as the shutter went sailing over her head and managed to recover. And now the Russians are starting to cheer. Another long serve from Kosatskaya. Oh, what a shot from Stefani. <laughs> I think there's a few volleyball players in there, in there I recognise in Bulgaria. Six, eight. They're not playing tonight. They're having a great night supporting the Strava sisters. And confusion on the Russian side of the net. Let's get a good look at this. Oh, yeah. It's a complete miss it from Kosetskaya. That won't be going on to a highlight reel for sure. Stefani Strava, the hit from the back again. The Russians are asking all sorts of questions of the Bulgarian pairing. And tonight they're putting the Bulgarians under pressure and they are reacting. There was a couple of really tight shots. The Bulgarians had to play there and they did. There's a hit from Bolotova that Stefani Strava cannot get to. were nine but uh, five one up in this game so the Bulgarians have done well to pull back oh that's a great shot you can see why Stefani Stoeva is ranked well she was ranked at number 40 in the world in singles because she can play the lovely drop shots and she can play the sma smashers Gabriella Stoeva, with blonde hair, she just plays women's doubles. Nine all.
But Stefani Stoeva played Bolateva last year at the Russian Open. Beat her two games to nil there. And we have the break in the second game. And I don't think, I don't know for sure, because I don't have the available information, but I'm pretty sure there's not many games where the Bulgarians have gone in to the break actually being behind. time for a break. The Zeri crowd coming out, the games are coming towards a close of course, but it's been an absolutely fantastic event here. 11, 9, At the badminton. Ola Tabor's smash is wild. She needs to 10, cut those errors 10. out. I just wonder if the, the coach for Bulgaria may have asked his players to target Bolotaver a little bit more. She had seen errors off her racket. Oh, what a shot from Kosetskaya. She made that look so easy, but that was a really tough shot from mid-court. Just gets the racket up. In fact, this was almost a shot I think she was trying earlier on when it really looked quite embarrassing. Just the slightest of touches off the racket. All the weight on the shuttle got taken out. Staff Farni Stoeva, who's been smashing well all match. 11, Gets one a little bit further up the court than she's used to. She puts that away beautifully. Another service fault. Can talk to me. Your record is not pointing down. Isn't pointing down. I'd love to see a stop frame on those slow motions just to check, but uh, Russians are working hard here in these rallies. And I miss it. Bit of confusion between the two sisters. And Russia develop a three point lead again. Stoeva's so sisters haven't actually dropped a game in all their six matches. They've won them all 2 0. Ah, oh, well, Gabriella Stoeva, that's a shot that she'll play all day. And there you see Kosetsky there saying you can't be playing those shots up high there. You've got to really put in a good drop shot or go long. And the less risky shot is just to go to the back. Tava firing. Oh, good rally and relief on the co Bulgarian coach there. 14. Great view of the Bulgarian fans in the distance. They're absolutely loving this. Kazakh Scar has actually ranked 77 in singles, 22 doubles and 35 in mixed doubles, so she plays all, all forms. Oh, speed from Gabriela Stoeva. There's a feeling there that uh, maybe Russia might challenge this one. 
Yeah, the hand went up. She looked towards the line judge. The line judge called it in. And they were just checking to see if a challenge, but no challenge made. They're saving it for later. Now we'll have two challenges per match. Well, if they have a challenge successful, they keep it. Cossack Sky working hard on the smashes there. And Stueva's smash has a little bit more. And that's a significant turnaround, not only in the scoreline, Bulgaria take the lead for the first time in this game, but also Kozetskaya, who had three attempts at the big smash, Stefani Stoeva has one, and finishes it there and then. Over beautifully onto that. She saw the opportunity. Well, we had a 54 shot rally in game number one, which I'm pretty sure was the first rally of the match. 15 all. Wonderful, Stover's backhand isn't good enough. And Bolotova was waiting for that. And lets out a scream as she hits that into the empty court. A little bit of ferocity behind that hit. So Russians are sensing the game here for them. Stefani, it was actually Gabriella at the back of the court. Well, what's she doing there? Straight off the serve, of course, so they didn't change. Gabriella at the back, and well, she can hit them as well. What a great game, 16 all. And a loose one from Bolotova. Just the odd error from her racket. It's been the difference, there you see. In fact, that was Cossack Sky there, who was caught in two mines on that occasion. Great smashes from Stefani. There's the deception. This time Cossack Sky read it. Great point. Bulgaria take a two-point lead, and what a time to be in a two-point lead for the first time in the game when you're at 18-16. And on the verge of taking a gold medal, they're three points away. Lovely rally this is. And that, the Stoeva sisters through and through. The Farney firing away from the back. Gabriella with the reflexes at the front. Ready to pick him up. Russians actually only won one point with service in game number one. Done a lot better in this game. Won seven on in this game on the road service. That's given in, and they're not going to challenge. Well, that was a big call there. What a difference between a score of 1916, and it was in well. 1916 or 1817, and it went in, and it's now 1817. But that's out wide, and Bolotova, she doesn't know where to look. A little bit of nerves, perhaps. Big points now, massive point this is. Games are certainly going more towards Bolotova. They want her to be hitting them. Oh. 
wonderful. And it was Gabriela Strava again who was putting in the firing shots at the back this time. Sometimes the rallies work out not how you expect. Strava sisters showing they can win it that way as well. After 36 minutes, Bulgaria have three gold medal points. Oh my goodness, it hit the net and just went over. Look at that. And you had the sound effect from the microphone on court. It's a real pop. Two gold medal points for Bulgaria. And that hits the net and stays on the Bulgarian side. 19, 20. <laughs> They just can't get over the line. Russia have saved two. Can they save the third? Oh, and Bolotova screams as she hits the winner. What a reaction from Russia. Stoeva sisters look at each other, wonder if maybe they could have done something different, but now it's two clear points. What a dramatic game here. Miss it from Strava. Oh, but Kozatskaya puts it out. She had the court open in front of her. What a mistake for Kozatskaya to make. I'm having nightmares about that shot. Bulgaria win this. They have their fourth gold medal point. And it's out from Gabriela. What drama here at the Baku Sports Hall. And an error from Kozatskaya again. Molotova has been having the Lions share of shots. It's the fifth gold medal point for the Strava sisters. Oh no, Bolotova's in two minds, it's over! Oh my goodness, what a way to finish. Bulgaria have taken the gold medal here in the women's doubles. And the Russians, well, they can really hold their heads up. They've pushed the Bulgarians further than they've ever been pushed in this tournament. Well, the Stoeva sisters have only ever, the biggest, the closest margin they've had was 21-16. Well, that was 23-21 in that second game. But there you saw Bolotova just having a change of mind mid-shot here. Kozatskaya putting in the fireworks on Gabriela Stoeva. That was the opportunity, and then here, Oh, I think Kozatskaya looked as if she was going to go for it. And that put Bolotova off. Bulgaria take the gold. What a match it was. What a finish. 21-12, 23-21. After 39 minutes. Superb advert for women's doubles badminton. The world number 11s, the number one seeds. have taken the gold here. Well, the Bulgarian crowd, the supporters came from many different sports. You can see there's a bit of consolation there from Bolotova towards uh, her partner, 
Kozlitskaya there, because I think Kozlitskaya, when she uh, lays her head on her pillow tonight and just thinks through some of those rallies, she'll look back and I've got to say, I think the last that was the moment where Kozlitskaya lifted her racket, looked as if she was going to hit it, and she knows, doesn't she? She knows that she put her partner off on that shot. And she had two errors as well off her racket just beforehand that gave three points to the Bulgarians. And it was, well, it was earlier, it was Bolotova who was having issues and having a few dark moments out on court. But right at the very end, Kozetskaya, who'd definitely been the stronger player for the Russians, just had a little drop in form. And what a comeback from the Stoeva sisters. Absolutely superb comeback. <laughs> you see, they're having a party tonight. I want to go where they're going. Ah, oh, they'll be they'll be dancing in the streets. Tell you what, the athletes village will be pretty noisy wherever they are. They've uh, they come for a bit of a party, and a oh, lovely moment there. Well, they came here as favourites, number one seeds, and they've won their third major event in a row. And their ranking is only going one way at the moment. Here's the victory ceremony for the women's doubles Denmark take the bronze medal And a good crowd here this evening. Very appreciative. Back and Hell's Ball take the bronze here for Denmark in the women's doubles. Well, the Turkish pair will be happier that. They were the ones that lost out to the eventual gold medal winners here. They uh, lost out in their semi-final quite comfortably in the end. Silver medalist from Russia, Ekaterina Bolotova and Evgenia Kutiskaya. They pushed the finalists hard and gave them a real fright in that second game, but it just was not enough.
Fair bit of Russian support. The gold medalists, the Stoiva sisters, Stefani and Gabriella, 19 and 20 years old, already world number 11, and certain to go higher after this wonderful performance. It's their third tournament win in a row on the world circuit. National Anthem of Bulgaria brings to a close a medal ceremony here. The number one seed take the gold.